Where did I put that bottle opener? Howdy campers! I'm Dave. And I'm Jenny. And welcome to the movie tent. This week's movie is Lulchiel Fulci Zombie. Or Zombie 2. Or Island of the Living Dead. Or Zombie Flesh Eaters. Or the sequel to George Romero's Dawn of the Dead, released in Italy as Zombie, which shares no plot points with the movie besides zombies. Exploitation cinema is weird and complicated. Whatever the title, this awesome 1979 zombie flick stars Tisa Farrow, Ian McCulloch, Richard Johnson, and Ariette Gay. So, Dave, what's this movie about? Well, first and foremost, it starts with the best cold open in cinema history. A silhouetted figure shooting someone in the face. It really sets the tone. After that, we're shown an abandoned boat sailing in New York Harbor. The cops are called in to search the boat, and zombie shenanigans ensue. We discover that the boat belongs to a scientist, and his daughter, played by Tisha Farrow, is determined to find out why the boat is randomly in New York and where her father went. So she journeys to the dreaded tropical island of Matul and is joined by the overly dedicated journalist, played by Ian McCulloch. It also has an amazing score by maestro Fabio Frizzi, our Italian uncle who also scored other Lucio Fulci movies, such as The Beyond, City of the Living Dead, and Four of the Apocalypse. Fun factoids about Zombie. Cinema goers were handed out barf bags along with their movie tickets at the release, due to the fact of the high gore and violence for the time period. Also, special effects artist Giannotto De Rossi did a certain caked on look for the zombies, and the director, Lucio Fulci, said that the actors looked like walking flower pots. <laughs> nice. Yeah. After watching Zombie, Russian director Andrei Tarkovsky said that the film was ghastly, repulsive trash. I guess it wasn't long enough for him. <laughs> Walking tropical cakes for this week's movie. You gotta love it. And if you like Zombie, then you'll love our two recommendations. The first being George Grau's The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue, a 1974 zombie movie 
that also has effects by Gionetti Garassi, working his gory magic. Two travelers discover that corpses are coming back to life, and they try their best to save themselves as well as others. All the while, a hard-boiled detective chases them in connection to a murder. Showcasing fantastic imagery and equally great soundtrack, The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue comes highly recommended. Nice. <laughs> Our second recommended movie is Wes Craven's The Serpent and the Rainbow. A 1988 film that stars Bill Pullman as the Harvard anthropologist sent to Haiti to retrieve a powder that is said to bring humans back from the dead. In this quest to find the miracle drug, the cynical scientist enters the rarely seen underworld of walking zombies, blood rites, and ancient curses. Other than zombie films, Serpent in the Rainbow goes back to the more traditional zombie narrative of black magic and mysticism. Definitely worth checking out. Don't let them bury me. I'm not dead. And that concludes this episode of The Movie Tent. Join us next week as we do a deep dive into aquatic horror. I'm Dave. And I'm Jenny. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget, pick up your happy campers pack at coopsvillecoop.com. You won't regret it. Their tanks are so soft. Tanks a lot. <laughs> Coopsville Co-op! <laughs> That's terrible. That was great. <laughs>